Hey everyone, well, fall is finally here and Walmart has rolled out more and more of their fall collections. I'm gonna be trying a bunch of stuff on for you today and kind of pairing different outfits and hopefully it's a help to you uh, to kind of help you pair different outfits together and maybe think outside the box a little bit. So I will be coming up to the camera quite a bit just to show you the way that the fabric feels, the way that it moves as well. So hopefully you enjoy that. Um, if you have any questions at all about anything that I'm trying on, feel free to comment. And as I always do, I will list everything. So all you have to do is go into my links and it'll take you right um, to the A end. little portion of my video is sponsored by Dossier. So I will be showing you two fragrances that Dossier sent to me. And well, if you haven't subscribed yet, right now's the time to hit that red subscribe button and join this community of women because we have a lot of fun around here. Without further ado, let's get started. is I want to show you these fragrances by Dossier, but first let me go ahead and get my glasses. You know that I really enjoy Dossier. They are really affordable and they're sold at Walmart now. So Dossier is a clean brand. I told you this in the past. They use clean ingredients and they're department store inspired fragrances for a fraction of the price. So who doesn't love that? And they're also sold at Walmart. So I think that that's really convenient as well. They also have their own website. So if you want to go to their website, you can check out all of the things that they sell. I think they sell candles as well. And those are really good gifting opportunities, gifting ideas. If you'd like to go and see what type of fragrances that they have candles in. However, I'm going to go ahead and open these. Have not smelled them yet. So I have waited for you. They come in this little uh, packaging and I think it's great. Just, just fantastic for gifting. And then inside each of these fragrances is a card and I'm going to go ahead and give you the notes so you have an idea and what it's inspired by or who it's inspired by. This one is floral violet. The notes are, the top notes are watermelon, pomelo and strawberry. The middle notes are violet, gardenia and jasmine and the base notes are musk, vanilla and blonde woods. So this perfume, this, this fragrance is inspired by Marc Jacobs Daisy and I have Daisy, so let me go get it. I actually have Marc Jacobs Daisy right here. And I, I love doing this because I really like to be able to kind of compare side by side. I'm gonna go ahead and spray the Marc Jacobs Daisy on my, I'm gonna spray it on my right crack here. And I'm gonna let it marinate because it really does need to settle into your skin so that you get the real kind of smell. So hang on just a minute. It's called Floral Violet, comes in this bottle like this. This is a really substantial bottle. It has a lot of uh, fragrance in it and um, it's got a magnetic top. I always think that elevates like any bottle if it has a little magnetic closure, I really do. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray that in the left crack, the other arm. and let you know what I think. Okay, there is a slight difference in these two fragrances. Now, it's not a bad difference, it's just a difference, so Just the smallest difference. Now they're both, they both have those notes. They're, they're both very good for smelling fragrances. However, there's a slight difference in the um, inspired, okay, the floral violet. Um, but I'm gonna tell you at the end of the video what I think after they've had a chance to kind of settle in. Let's go on and move on into the next fragrance and uh, see if I have that. I don't know if I do, so hang okay. on. Okay, so this one is Citrus Ginger. Ooh, the top notes are peppermint, lemon, and ginger. The middle notes are vetiver, pink pepper, and nutmeg. And the base notes are sandalwood, incense, and cedarwood. It's inspired by Chanel Blue. I can't tell you for sure if it smells anything um, or how close it smells to the original. I can definitely give you like my honest review about how I think it smells. So, And then I'll tell you at the end of the video what I think of the outcome of the smell is after it's had a chance to kind of, you know, do its thing like on my skin. Okay, ooh, that smells really good. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna spray this on the inner wrist here just because I have my watch on here. I have heard, it's probably gonna take my tan off. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. So I have heard that you're not supposed to rub your wrists together. Okay, that smells very 
musky to start with. So I'll let you know at the end of the video what I think of these fragrances. Let's go ahead and get started with this haul. This is No Boundaries and this is really cute. Now this could be dressed up or down. So keep in mind, I just threw on these little booties, these little time and true um, cowboy inspired, cowgirl inspired booties that they have this year that are really cute, um, pretty true to size, I would say. Um, and this is really cute. You could wear this with a pair of heels easily. They do have a wide leg at the bottom and I'm gonna come up really close so that you can see so that you can see the ribbing on the, the material. It's a really warm material, by the way. I will let you know when I come up close what the material is. As you can tell, this is kind of a crop top. It's got a mock neck and little short sleeves. And if I were to wear this, I would definitely keep this together just like that. And they, they are really high-waisted and I'm five, five and a half. So these would be a little bit too long for me if I didn't have a little heel on. I think that this outfit could definitely be elevated with whatever shoes or accessories you wanted to pair with it. So I'm gonna come up really close. And I like to kind of show you how the item moves. So um, pardon me if you're not into that, <laughs> but that's just the way I do it. Let me go ahead and show you really closely um, what this material is like. It has some ribbing in it. This mock neck is nice as well. This comes in several colors, a couple of colors anyway. I think I also have a beige or a tan color, but I just think that this color is so beautiful for fall and going into winter. You can wear a trench with this. You could wear, um, you know, more mod style boots as well. Um, that would be really pretty with this outfit as well. And some nice big hoops would be great. Um, a nice side purse, or you could wear a clutch would be, would definitely elevate the look too. But this is really pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and turn around and show you. cute and I like the way that the um, the leg kind of moves it's a wide leg and it just kind of moves around with you that's really pretty you also pair any jean jacket that you have in your closet um, oversized is kind of the thing this season um, this is a light wash this is one that I purchased from Walmart however I've been linking something very similar this has a really nice stretch and just feels really relaxing and comfortable under the arms like if you move it's not stiff so I really like this type of jacket and I've listed something I think it's like by Wrangler or something very similar to this um, by Amazon or on Amazon and you can look at that but otherwise just wear any oversized little jean jacket with this and then and then to match the little booties that I'm wearing let me grab a purse to match the little booties that I'm wearing I have this little time and true crossbody purse it's adjustable and um, is really pretty it's leather like it has gold hardware and you know that I keep the paper in it just so you can kind of see how it fills out and um, it has a little button here it has a it has a pocket here in the middle two zippers two compartments here on the sides and then a little button to keep things together if you want to fill that inner pocket it also has this little side pocket here that opens up just like that if you want to put something in there but i think it's really pretty i think that gold is just really really pretty as well and i just think it looks really nice paired with these time and true western booties don't you think really cute now these aren't the ones that don't make any noise at all the booties that do not make any noise that i've been showing you week after week is sam and libby so they're very similar to these boots um however they don't make any noise at all i mean like you can walk around in them and they don't give you a click clack sound they're really nice very slip resistant these are also slip resistant however um, they do make a little bit of noise but that's okay it's never really bothered me i think i was just kind of um surprised that I wore those boots and I couldn't hear them as I was walking. So I think it's not like necessary that they don't make any noise. However, I think it's kind of a bonus, but isn't that pretty? Really cute together, but you could also wear like a black trench coat and really dress this outfit up. You could wear a pair of like um, stiletto boots with this outfit and a clutch, like a black clutch would be pretty. Um, you could also wear, you know, a black trench. I mean, so many things you can do with this little outfit. And if you want to lounge in it, you can do that too. <laughs> I've been showing this to you week after week. It's really cute. Um, a big round face. These are really gorgeous, by the way. I think I've already shown you these several times. It's like a, a hoop trio and they're all attached. So it's just really pretty and they're very lightweight. I always tell you that. And I want to show you this necklace I purchased from Amazon. And I'm going to I'll list this as well, just because it's so pretty. But this is a little cross. It's very dainty, gold-plated chain or something. And it just hangs very, very pretty. So I wanted to show you that as well. I hope you can see it up close. I want 
wanted to bring the material up really close. This is mostly polyester, like 95% polyester and like 5% spandex. It's really soft. It's very sweater-like, as you can tell. So this is gonna keep you really, really warm. Polyester isn't as breathable. However, for fall and winter, if you are like living in a cooler climate, these might be perfect. So the bottom has a lot of movement here in the leg. Um, the, the elastic is a thick piece of elastic but it's a nice comfortable piece of elastic. These are small and um, I wouldn't say necessarily a size up in these. I think that they pretty much fit. This is size small, pretty true to size. All right, the next outfit is super cute as well. I've shown you a pair of these pants. Uh, I think it was last week. These are mid-rise boot cut cargo or utility type, pant type of pants. Um, cargo or utility type of pants. They do have the big pockets on the sides. This is kind of an olive green color. And I think they're just so cute by No Boundaries and so comfortable. They do have a bit of a stretch. These are a size one and I do have them paired with these little time and true booties. They're just like the ones that I had on, um, but in a different color. They're like in a bone color. If you're curious on the way that these look up close, I will link a video right here and show you um, what they look like up close. But they're really cute. They're just what they have in this year by Time and True. Um, they're that cowgirl style booty and are just really cute. I went ahead and showed you this last week. This is a Time and True turtleneck. It's like a t-shirt turtleneck. However, it is a sweater material. So I'm not quite sure why they call it t-shirt material, but or t-shirt uh, turtleneck. However, there are ribs in this turtleneck and um, just a really nice soft loose neck. I wouldn't size up in this, depending, I guess, on how you want to fit. This is a size small, and I'll leave my measurements in the description box. Um, I do have this, like, front tucked, and I kind of thought, um, like, with this crossbody purse, that a belt would have been too much, and I kind of wanted to simplify the outfit just a little bit. So I went ahead and wore this without a belt at all, and I think it's really cute. I think that this is pretty. It's put together. It looks smart. And I'd love to know what you all think of these pants. These are so good. Um, no Boundaries is really on top of their game this season with the pants. You have to try them. I keep telling you over and over again that these pants are gems and they're so reasonable. So just a kind of a way to get into fashion without breaking the bank, okay? Great color for fall. Okay, these do come in a couple of different colors. This is kind of a denim feel, but it has, I mean, just as far as like the material goes, but as far as the way they feel, they feel really nice and soft. And you can see the stretch, the amount of stretch, nice and comfortable. These are size one. And I would say stick to your true to size. That's what I would say about new, no boundaries right now, no boundaries jeans. I would say stick to your usual size. This is the bottom. So they are a wide leg, but they're not like, you know, a complete bell. So they just look like a boot cut, very nice. You could wear a belt with these. As you can see, it has a matching button here. Um, belt loops and all the pockets. And uh, I think it makes, you know, for a, a really nice looking pant. And it's not your everyday, you know, it's different. Um, the color makes it different. Um, just the look of it is so pretty. I think this is a great color for fall. This and that like burgundy, like maroon color is really pretty as well. And browns, of course. And um, hopefully you saw this before, uh, but this is really good. So if you can tell, it's this is a size small. I wouldn't size up in these. I think it's it fits really nice, very, um, I, I guess a touch oversized. That's how it feels. And um, it just, it feels a little blousey in my opinion. So it's not gonna like, you know, stick to you and it's not going to be like boxy either it's really nice the material just kind of falls on you so i'll uh try to i'll look at the material i'm pretty sure it, well let me go let me take a look at this material and i'll let you know what okay, it is. this sweater isn't like a stark white this is like that t-shirt turtle this is that t-shirt turtleneck i was showing you it's not like a stark white it's almost a creamy color and this is in a size small you can see how long it is it's long and it's a little bit drapey it feels really good on the skin and the material is 78 percent rayon and 22 percent polyester so i like that combination that's fine with me i'm a little less polyester a little bit more rayon, which is always fine with me. This one's in a small, I would probably say stay true to size if you want it to fit just a little oversized. Now, this is so cute. Do you see this woven sweater? This is so pretty, it's a cable knit sweater and the color is just really, 
I just love the color. And it's a V-neck, it's a loose fitting kind of sweater, and this is a size medium, no boundaries. And this is $16.98. So take a look at this outfit. Is it just adorable or what? This is so cute. This is totally what I like wearing. This is a pair of crop jeans, a loose fitting sweater that I can front tuck, and a crossbody purse little booties this is just so cute together you know you match the purse and the booties now they don't have this anymore but i've been linking something similar uh, from walmart this was from walmart a couple years ago i just wanted you to see that you can match the boots with the purse and it just looks so good um i went ahead and skipped the belt you could wear a belt if you wanted to these are high-waisted signature levi jeans these are cropped jeans and they're in a size zero i would say that they run just a little bit big however that doesn't bother me um i do feel like i like the looseness i like the look just pulled together um the one thing is i'm five five and a half and they run a little bit long for me these are cropped and um, the boots either have to be a little shorter or i have to be a little taller <laughs> i mean it's not um it's not a really big deal i would um like my leg to show just a little bit in these jeans however uh, the fit of them, the color, the wash. Um, I'm really, really liking these pants a lot. Now, like I said, these are size zero and they really do um, fit a little oversized. And I think they're meant to fit just a little bit on the loose loose kind of mom fitting side. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna turn around and show you the back and I'd love to know what you think, so. I think I may have shown you this in the color green a couple weeks ago. Um, but it just looks so different in another color for sure. And I love the green too. Um, this is really, really cute. I hope you can still find these. I'm going to try to list and link this, but I think these are going quite quickly because they are so cute and comfortable. And look, I mean, it, the, the way that it feels, just the way that it drapes on you is really nice. And then it does come together here, um, at the wrist. However, I think you could also get this very oversized and give it a different look altogether. But I think that this is super cute and I'm loving the cable knit. I think that the plunge in the V is just enough. It's almost trying to hang off the shoulder, but not quite. And then um, that's the back. This is a size medium. I would say if you wanted it to fit a little bit more fitted, get your true to size. I don't think you necessarily have to size up. However, I do like this loose fit and I think a medium is just great. Just great for this look that I'm trying to achieve here. And I'm gonna list this, these pants. I'm telling you, these are really good. By the way, they do have a um, they do have a raw edge at the bottom, but it's not completely raw because you know it is sewn to where it's not going to fray anymore. But it's a frayed edge, I guess you could say, at the crop. These pants are considered high rise straight jeans, so they don't necessarily have to be um, cropped. Um, however, I just am I, I pulled them all the way up so they would be a little bit cropped on me. Um, and I do have a little heel on, so I suppose I could wear a flat and they might fit a little cropped. Super comfortable. I'll show you those up close, but I would love to know what you think of this cute little outfit. I do have these nude loafers from Walmart from last year. These are time and true, size eight. I haven't seen this color this year. However, they could have it. I will list and link this or something very similar. I know that time and true always has a loafer, um, but I just want to show you what these pants look like with a... Um, shorter shoe, you know, like a loafer style shoe, um, or ballerina flats would look really nice with this too. Um, but that way they can fit, they fit a little bit more cropped. So um, I'll show you what they look like. Yes, those are really cute. So I guess that kind of solves the problem. You know, you don't need to wear booties with that. This looks really cute too, just wearing a pair of flats. Just give the pant a completely different look. This would be great with a fitted tank top as well as a, like a blazer. That would be a great look too. These are the type of pants that would look great with pumps or high heels, stilettos, that kind of thing. That is totally a really good look. That is a really good look wearing high heels with pants like this and a blazer with a fitted top or tank top underneath, um, camisole underneath. Um, but this is a cute look as well. So you could definitely do a lot with these pants. It depends on you know what look you're going for. You could also wear like a a boat neck t-shirt, one of those loose fitting t-shirts, and then wear these little flats. So I would love to know what your favorite look is, what you think of this, but this sweater is definitely a keeper and these jeans, right? Okay. I wanted to bring these pants up close. These are signature Levi Strauss. They are size zero, waist 25, and 
they are high rise straight. So this is what they look like up close. They do have some nice stretch to them. And this is what the back side looks like. Really cute. And then the bottom is a frayed. The bottom is a frayed edge, do you see? That's what it looks like on the bottom. And as far as the price goes, they are $26.98. So not a bad price for these super cute little jeans. And I just love that wash. They're so pretty. And these jeans would go great with this turtleneck. Before I forget, I wanted to show you, um, I realized that these two at the beginning of the video that I showed you, they come together as a pair. So they're $18.98 together. At this point, um, I think they're sold together for $18.98. And um, yeah, whatever size you get, you'll get both of those pieces in the same size. So you have, first of all, I love this color. Such a pretty color. This is Sofia Vergara. And um, it's a two-piece midi dress with a sweater on the top. So this is like a crop sweater. It's one of those sweaters that um, it's cropped in the front and then it kind of comes down in the back. Uh, it's a really cute look, but you could do so much with this. So I'm gonna show you this in total, and then I'm gonna take this off, show you the dress, and show you some other things that you could do with it, so. It's warm. Um, I'm in Arizona, and it's still pretty warm. I think it's just because I'm in front of my window and the, and the sun is kind of beaming in. This dress and sweater is in a size medium, so if you want it to fit um, more, you know, a little more form fitted, then you would need to size down. And if you want it to fit a little looser, size up. So this is what it looks like. It is a, these are non-adjustable straps. The color is really, really pretty. I love the scoop neck on it and it has this really nice detail. I am, um, if you could see the hem, hopefully you can see that. I like the way this fits. It fits really nice and flowy, um, yet it's got a great silhouette. And honestly, it's a completely different look without this sweater. Just like that, that's a great look. And you could wear, you know, your half calf boots. That would be cute. You could wear, um, you know, the pointed dress boots that I have that are tall under the knee boots. Those are really cute as well. Um, different colored booties would be great. You could also wear uh, pumps with this outfit. You could do something like this to it. That's a really cute look as well. So depending on how you wanna wear it, you could also wear um, some little, like um, you could wear a little bomber jacket with this type of dress. You could wear a blazer, dark chunky boots with this would be really cute as well. And I would probably turn it just like this. I would just grab a belt and tuck up underneath and give it a little pull. And that's a cute look as well. So you could do some different things. This could actually be a skirt. So you can do that. Um, there's a lot of things you could do. You don't have to, you're not stuck with the sweater. However, it does come with the sweater. So um, really beautiful color. And I'd love to know what you think. Okay, this is a really cute look too. Okay, so these are the jeans I've been showing you. Week after week, these are no boundaries. These are in size one. They are boot cut mid-rise jeans. And this is a light wash. I will list and link these. These boots I showed you a couple weeks ago. And if you want to look back on these boots, I'll go ahead and um, I'll go ahead and link the video right here so you can click through that and see these boots up close. However, I think the star of the show is this little top. It's a no boundaries, and you probably have passed it when you've been going by the clothing aisle. Oh, this is a little purse, time and true. It's got really cute pattern going on there and an adjustable strap. You want to wear a pair of boots or shoes that kind of matched the purse. Um, but also you could wear tennis shoes with this look as well and wear just a little sporty, um, a little sporty waist purse, right? You could do that too. Um, but let me show you this. I'm going to take this little jacket off and show you this little top. Now, this is no boundaries, very comfortable, stretchy little top. And uh, they have a couple of different colors. This one is kind of got a mint green as well as like an army or an olive green going on there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's also got like a creamy white. And then it has a zipper with these cute little 
call this cute little collar the zipper works you can zip it up or down so you can do what you want with that it does have a little bit of a gathered pop shoulder so it's just a little bit more feminine i think that's so pretty this is in a size large now I t I've been telling you lately that I think that No Boundaries has kind of been, um, is kind of more of a true to size brand now, like, like it's a junior's brand, but I think you can get your adult size and it fits. Um, that's kind of the way it's been working. I've had comments saying that they think that's the case. And then I've had comments saying that they don't think that's the case. So um, as far as I can tell, I think that you can purchase your, your true to size pant and they'll work for you because I do think they're making them more true to size to fit like adults, okay? It is a junior's brand. However, this top is a size large. I think they're like, um, I wanna say like 1088 for these jeans and they're the stretchy kind of jeans. And be here, Ralphie, he's at the door. Um, he wants to be part of the video. Um, he's getting used to being in front of a camera. So we'll see, I, I might let him in, I don't know. He has to behave himself though. He's been a good boy. Anyway, I'd love to know what you think of this cute little top. Like I said, I sized up to a large in this. And I probably typically would get a medium in a top from No Boundaries. So if that helps you at all. And like, like in Time and True, I would probably get a small. And tops in No Boundaries, I'd probably get, I mean, a medium. It just depends though how you, how you want it to fit. And he just opened my door. Yeah, he, he's really smart. He's a, he's a good boy. Come here, sit down, sit, sit. Why don't you look this way at the camera? Do you want to? Come here, Ralph. You gotta, you gotta be, are you a show dog? But you gotta turn around because they can't see your face. These are really, really cute by Time and True. I'm loving this little, it's kind of a cowl neck. Um, and it's a little bit Jersey sweatshirt type of material. Um, it's got some button detail here. Let's see, it's got some, hopefully you can see the button detail here. Um, and it's for looks and then it's got like this half cowl that kind of comes down and comes to a point Do you see the way that looks and it comes up over here on the neck where it kind of opens up right here? This is a size small so these fit really oversized and I'm gonna bring it up close in just a minute But these are the same boots that I showed you by that brand all I think it's called All I'll take them off and show them to you just a minute, but same pants um, I do have a time and true purse. This is another crossbody, and it's nice because it hangs nice and long, which I really like. And it's just a really nice size leather-like style purse. Um, it's very like sort of minimalistic looking. Um, it's got some stitching on it like that, and it doesn't look cheap. It looks really nice, and the gold isn't that bright gold, but it's that muted gold detail. It does have a side pocket if you did want to put like your phone or something. I don't know. The side pocket doesn't feel incredibly, um, it, it's kind of tight. It's kind of tight to the, the purse. Um, and then the bottom, you could set it down and it would sit flat. So this is a really nice purse with a really long strap and it has an adjustable strap. So you could make it a little bit shorter depending on how long you wanted it to hang. But this is really cute. Again, I don't have a belt on, but I wanted to show you the look all together. I untucked it and I want to show you the length of this. I do want to let you know that it is oversized. So this is a size small and this is the length of it. So if you're wanting your bum covered, this does the trick. And then it has the little side slits on both sides. This is kind of a thin sweatshirt material. So it comes in a couple of different colors. I'll show you another color, but I would just kind of front tuck this and kind of draw it in a little bit. But just as is, if you were to keep it untucked like this, it doesn't feel boxy. Do you know? A nice silhouette. So I would say get your true to size and then it's versatile from there. You can you know, front tuck it, you can let it hang. You could wear little leggings with this. You could wear jeans with this. You could wear a midi skirt with this and kind of give it a front tuck. You could do all kinds of things with it. It's kind of in between red. It's, I guess it's kind of a garnet red. And um, that's a gorgeous color for fall and winter as well. But let me go ahead and bring it up close so that you can see the button detail as well as this kind of a handkerchief, handkerchief, handkerchief cowl neck type of thing going on here. So it's nice because it's not really tight. It gives you um, some nice, there's nice interest going on at the neck. So it's not like, like every other like top, it's a little bit different. And um, I think the sleeves are a nice length as well. Um, what else do I wanna say about this top? Um, that's what it looks like. That's the material. It's kind of 
that jersey like thicker material on the inside it's a little bit it's like jersey jersey material and i will give you this is small four to six and let me see what the fabric is it's 54 percent cotton and 45 percent polyester so mostly cotton um, does have a little bit of polyester which does keep you a little warmer but sometimes that's okay for fall and winter I would love to know what you think of these cute tops. I mean, honestly, cuter on than off for sure. So glad that I tried it for you. Um, so cute. And I really feel like you could dress it up or down. So I would probably say this is kind of a leveling up, um, but with a pair of jeans and a pair of booties. These booties um, are really cute. I would say if you're, if you're planning on wearing like socks, like thick socks, and I didn't notice this the last time I tried them on for you, um, I would probably size up if you're gonna wear really thick socks. If you're gonna wear thin socks, I would say true to size. These are eight and a halfs. And these are by Aerosol. So they're called, they, they're A-L-L -L Aerosol. And this is the type of boot, a booty it is. It's not too high. It's kind of like that rubber cork looking textured sole and um, really just a really nice boot. It's probably a faux leather. It does have some stretch here and a zipper on the side. And they're short enough, right? They're not really high booties as far as like, you know, where it goes on your ankle. It's just a little shorty. So if you're gonna wear like, um, if you're gonna wear like crop pants, they're not gonna be boots that like interfere with the bottom of your jean, do you know, cause they're shorter. The next outfit that is so cute. Um, this is a Sofia Vergara, little blazer here. And it's an oversized blazer, size small. It's oversized, but it does come in kind of at the waist. And that is what is so in, not as much the boxiness as it is to be oversized and fitted kind of at the waist. Now this is a double breasted, so you could certainly, you know, button it up. That would be cute too, but I just have it open like this and I have a no boundaries tank top. Um, I, these are like those tried and true tank tops. I will list and link these tank tops. They're like $2 and 88 cents. And you know, they're just really good basics to pick up and be able to layer with, okay? I have the same purse on, and these are little pants by No Boundaries, and um, they are the faux leather high rise straight leg pants. So they do kind of go skinny at the bottom, but they are more of a pant style rather than a legging, okay? Because they do have the button and the zipper, and they do have pockets in the back. I'll take this off and turn around and show you. Um, however, this is that situation where when you want to wear these smaller boots, these, these shorter boots, they work well with a pair of pants that are like cuffed or um, fitted around the ankle. And they don't like interfere with the pant um, because you don't want your boot kind of coming up over your pant too much. And this is just a really good look, um, a, a great look. You know, you could definitely wear, um, you know, um, you could definitely wear different boots with this if you wanted to, but these are really nice. I feel like they're um, minimal boots and are just such a sleek and classy type of look. Um, the belt is a really neat belt. This is a belt by, I think it is a, let me take the belt off. I just, I should probably show you the belt because the belt is really a good belt for this particular pair of pants. This belt, is a time and true belt. It's $6.50. It does have the, um, the horseshoe style belt buckle and you see all of these holes. I think that that's a really kind of neat um, detail or um, a, just a neat addition to this outfit. I really think it pulls it together nicely. And then this just minimalistic purse is really nice as well. I'm gonna take the purse off and, and show you um, that this has little pockets that are tacked and there is a pocket up here that's tacked. And it's really hard for me to tell if this is like a true black or if it's a really, really dark navy blue. However, um, I've got it paired with these black pants and it looks fantastic. Um, it looks really nice. This is a really nice feeling blazer. Like it feels like it's expensive kind of animal print design on the inside. This is a size small, Sofia Vergara. And it's got a slight bit of padding to it. Just enough, just enough to kind of give you just a little bit of a pop at the shoulder. And the length is fantastic. 
Um, there is a button on the inside, so let me see. I'm gonna try this on again. There's only three belt loops, you know, to, to, to kind of run your belt through. And by the way, these are a size five, and these are gonna run warm. So they are high rise, and they do have that double button here and a zipper. And um, there is a little bit of room. This is, this is a great fit though. I would definitely size up in these particular pants. And um, as, far as, as far as this little jacket goes, this is what it looks like buttoned up. This is really, really cute. And it looks oversized, size small. Doesn't it look really, really put together? And you could pair this with so many things. You could definitely wear this to the office as well, not the pants as much, but you could wear this to the office, pair this um, with a pair of slacks um, or even a pair of jeans. This would be a really nice look. I think that this is gonna be um, one of those jackets that you can wear with so many different things and just simply change it up by you know the, the accessories and the shoes and whatever you wanna wear. But this is a cute look all together. I'd love to know what you think. I'm gonna show you the back of these pants throw pockets in the back. Okay, here is another one of those no boundaries. This is another no boundaries top like I showed you in the beginning of the video, only this one is in a size medium. So this comes as a two piece outfit. So whatever size you get the top in, you're gonna need to get the bottom in. However, I just thought it, would, it was important that I tell you that I think that the medium top fits better. So hopefully um, that helps a little bit. I think that the Smaller top fit, just a little tighter. However, I prefer a little bit of a looser fit. I went ahead and paired this top with this cute little flannel. Kept the same pants on, same belt, and same boots on. Just giving it a different look all together. This is really, really cute. And this flannel was out of stock for a while. I will link it and hopefully it's back in stock for you. But this is such a great um, flannel. This is uh, time and true. And I think this is in a size small, but I'm going to go ahead and take a look. Um, such a warm flannel and I mean literally um, it's like a jacket so it's like a jacket I would say it's $27.98 this is in a size medium time and true and yeah so I did um, pick this up to be oversized so I did, this was like the only one in the store and I picked it up and it's medium and it fits fine. So if you want to, if they do have them available, I'll list a link. Um, and sometimes in different areas they, they're available. And some people are still able to pick it up. So, and also it could be in your very own store too. But this is the pattern I like. I really like the pattern on this. I think it's really pretty and warm and um, you know, the pattern is just very so, fall. And remember that this top is a bit cropped. So if you are planning on purchasing this outfit for the reason of wearing the top separately, wearing the bottom separately, just remember that you do need a pair of high waisted pants, high rise pants, if you don't want your midriff to show. I wanna thank you for joining me today. I had a really good time. Um, I did wanna let you know, the fragrance by Dossier has had a chance to kind of ruminate, if you will. Um, this is the um, original Daisy, and I'm gonna smell that. And then I'm gonna smell the Dossier. There is a small difference in the smell, but it smells really, really good nonetheless. Very, very nice, very refreshing. This one on this side is by Dossier and it's inspired by Chanel Blue. All these fragrances are available at walmart.com. So I will list and link the fragrances that I've shown you, but you can also go to their website and I'll list and link that too. So thank you so much, Dossier, for sending me these fragrances to try out. Thank you for watching my video. If you're interested in anything that I showed you today, everything is listed and linked in the description box. If you have any questions, feel free to comment and I'd love to get back to you. And if you like videos like this one, give it a thumbs up so I can keep these Walmart videos coming to you each and every week, okay? Thank you so much for joining me today. And until next time, God bless you. Thank you.